Hello SpaceX fans, we are back with another video for you to quench your thirst for all things space. So buckle right in, because we are going on a flight to the stars. But before we move on, make sure to press the subscribe button and do not forget to hit the bell icon to never miss out on any of our latest space niche videos. In this video, we will bring you up to date with the recent developments in the crazy world of SpaceX. SpaceX is preparing to launch the largest rocket in history of spaceflight, and to do so, an amazing beast of a launch tower is required. And as always, SpaceX has delivered. There is no other space project currently in the works that gets more attention than the Starship. The next generation of spacecraft coming from SpaceX, the one that is meant to take us to the moon and even to Mars, has eclipsed pretty much everything else. From the ill-fated Boeing Starliner to the upcoming Artemis 1 launch. That is so because after years of trial and error and countless Starship prototypes blowing up as they descended to their landing pads, SpaceX is finally about to go for the first orbital flight of the thing. With hopes still running high that the launch could be achieved by the end of the year, the Starship is undergoing final testing. It was only last week when we saw bits and pieces of its heat shield being blown off during an ambient pressure test. For instance, and up next, the static fire test. But it's not only the Starship that is being put through its paces, but the other technologies involved in supporting it as well, namely the Booster 4, as well as the launch tower. SpaceX is building the first prototype of the giant super heavy rocket booster that will propel Starship to orbit at Starbase, located in Boca Chica Beach, Texas. The rocket will be the world's largest, most powerful rocket, equipped with 28 methane field Raptor engines that will generate over 16 million pounds of thrust upon liftoff. That's over twice the thrust of the Saturn V rocket that launched NASA's Apollo missions to the lunar surface. SpaceX plans to catch the super heavy rocket after it launches Starship to orbit. Catching the 230 foot tall booster as it descends from space will enable fast reusability. Starship booster, largest flying object ever designed, will be caught out of the sky by a launch tower. A big step forward, as reflight can be done in under an hour. SpaceX founder Elon Musk said on April 7th, Using the launch tower to catch the rocket saves mass and cost of legs, enables immediate repositioning of the booster onto the launch mount, he stated. Previously in December 2020, Musk has been reported tweeting, we're going to try catch the super heavy booster with the launch tower arm. It is suspected that the launch tower with a harness will be used, which will take hold of the super heavy booster as it lowers itself into the arms. The harness will then lower the booster to a landing pad, thus eliminating the need for landing legs and increasing the odds of a safe recovery. As Musk indicated, this catch system is also part of what he hopes will amount to regular trips to space. In the past, Musk has hinted that his long-term vision is to scale up production of the Starship to the point where they can build 100 a year for 10 years. This fleet could transport 100 megatons of cargo or 100,000 people to Mars every 26 months. And now, according to news, SpaceX has begun preparing its Starbase launch tower for the installation of a pair of giant arms designed to lift, stack and even catch starships and super heavy boosters out of mid-air. Deemed Mechazilla by CEO Elon Musk, assembly of the first of the structure's three main arms only began in earnest in June 2021. That quick disconnect arm, designed to feel Starship and stabilize Super Heavy during Starship stacking, was installed on August 29th and followed by the addition of a claw-like appendage meant to grab onto boosters about a month later. Now, all that's missing from Mechazilla's first arm is the actual quick disconnect device that will connect to Starship's umbilical panel to supply propellant, power and communication links. However, Ever since Musk first hinted at the possibility of catching Super Heavy and Starship, the star of Mechazilla show has always been its chopsticks. SpaceX's internal colloquialism for the pair of giant moving arms meant to lift and catch rockets. Prefabricated catch arms, parts, began to arrive at Starbase less than three months ago in the last week or two of July. Just a month later, the basic structure of both arms was practically complete, leaving another month for plumbing, wiring and several smaller structural additions. Less than three months after the first parts arrived, SpaceX lifted the catch arm carriage, a sort of backbone that will hold both arms and attach to the launch tower, vertically to install it on a temporary jig. 
Two days later, SpaceX lifted and flipped the first catch arm into the correct orientation with Starbase's largest crane. To install both arms though, it appeared that SpaceX will need to have a second crane simultaneously lift and flip the second arm and move it into position so that a single giant steel pin can slot through both of these hinges. Perhaps because of the arrival of high winds on Sunday, the first arm continues to hang from a crane just a few feet away from the arm carriage that it will eventually be installed upon, while the left arm has yet to move towards a second crane recently staged to lift it. The piece of technology that will be used for a variety of tasks. First, it will be in charge of providing a link for loading the ship with fuel and whatever else it needs for the trip. Then they will be tasked with stabilizing the spacecraft on the launch pad. When the rockets launch, the arms will have to move out of the way. While the relatively simple swinging QD arm that will feel Starship and stabilize both stages of the rocket is a common feature of rockets and launch pads, the only experience SpaceX itself has with umbilical swing arms is the crew access arm, the CAA, that allows astronauts and cargo to board Dragon spacecraft after Falcon 9 goes vertical a structure with near zero umbilical utility. Technically, the transporters slash erectors that cradle Falcon 9 rockets, lift them vertically and feel them before launch have some similarities with swing arms, but SpaceX has always used simpler and more reliable passive mechanisms whenever possible. Ultimately though, SpaceX is ready to install both arms on the tower carriage. Once that process is complete, it appears that SpaceX will finish some minor carriage outfitting tasks before eventually installing the assembled carriage and arm structure onto the launch tower itself. It's hard to say for sure, but depending on the readiness of the complex system of pulleys and draw works, the tower needs to hold and move the carriage and arms. Mechazilla could effectively be fully installed and ready for testing by the end of the month. SpaceX plans to eventually use Starship as a fully reusable two-stage transportation system to send humans and large sets of cargo to the Moon, Mars and other distant solar system destinations. Recently, the program got a large contract win after NASA selected Starship as the crewed lander for the agency's Artemis moon landing effort. Under the previous Trump administration, NASA was shooting for a 2024 deadline to put boots on the surface. The new Biden administration hasn't yet committed to a timeline. With this, we have come to the end of the video. Congrats on having such a great attention span. Let us know how excited you are about the new ventures of SpaceX down in the comments below. Thank you for watching. And if you've enjoyed the video, make sure to like and subscribe for similar content. Until next time.